Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to be doing one of the nastiest jobs around. That is removing the Wookiee from the plumbing. What is a Wookiee? It's a foul, nasty hairball that stops the water from your sink. So that water has been stagnant like that for about a day, which tells me there's a nice big clog in that, hopefully just in the drain pipe and not deeper into the wall. We're gonna find out here in just a minute. Okay, well, I've definitely got gloves on for this one. I'm gonna put a bucket underneath the trap and I'm going to remove this nut and this nut. And I'm gonna remove this one first because it's the lowest point and as soon as I start unscrewing it, you're gonna have water that's gonna spill over here and drop into this bucket. Now, I would imagine there's gonna be quite a bit of water because it's wherever the blockage is, most likely in here, this whole thing is full of water up to the sink, which also has water in it. And so when I drop this trap out, I'm expecting to see just a long string of hair coming out of here and it's gonna smell like garbage and that's putting it nicely. So let's start removing this, or loosening it anyway. Here comes the water. And this one and I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit and we should get a little more water okay yep that smells no doubt about that okay this whole pipe is loose that's not good So I've got it all over the cabinet and all over me. Now it's just a matter of finding out where the big clump of hair is. And this is so loose, I'm just gonna drop this down. It's doing almost nothing. Okay, I had to take a quick break to clean up the mess that I made. Now we're wondering why or where this hair bowl is. So I'm going to take off the uh, pivot rod, which is a horizontal rod. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it connects the drain stopper to this uh, lift rod at the back of the faucet. It's just a matter of unscrewing it and pulling it out. And it's clean. So where the heck is this hair? I'm gonna go up on top and push the hair down. Hopefully it should land in the bucket. So this is unusual in that usually to have a big clump of hair just spitting out of this pipe here, but that wasn't the case. And the, I, I ran the water up the front. I, I uh, stuck a screwdriver up there, nothing. And so I grabbed this trap and I looked in the trap and I'm not sure what that is, but it's white and it's really hard. All it is, is a little bit of mush. And it's got a strainer inside this trap. That is really unusual. I don't know if you can see this, but it sure stinks. Yeah. Be glad this is uh, not smell a vision, folks. Gross. I think once I clean this out, it's going to flow just fine. Yeah. Okay, it is unusual to see a trap with a strainer in it but that's exactly what this is. I dumped it out, ran some clean water through it, 
and you can see there's a bunch of little holes in there that got plugged up by a relatively small amount of hair. So you just never know what you're going to find. Anyway, so now it's time to put this thing back together. I put the extension on first. I'm not going to tighten up anything securely until I get it all assembled and make sure it's all lined up. So there's the extension. Just stick that on. Make sure all these lengths are right. This is a, a critical joint here, so I want to make sure that it's it's on securely. And I'm not tightening anything up yet. Just kind of making sure everything's going to line up. But this is the one that I want to be most secure. These are all hand tightened. There's little washers in there to keep the water from spilling over. Okay, so now I'm tightening up. Now let's turn the water on. And it drains great. And this was the result. A little hair and soap and toothpaste and whatever else is in there. Looks like I'm panning for gold, doesn't it? Anyway, another job done. And there's the result of the cleaning out the trap. Well, I hope that video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.